if you want to save time on grinding your badges and overall, make sure you hit up Hero Grinders on Instagram or Twitter for the fastest and safest way to get your badges maxed out. Links will be in the description. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video, today we'll talk about the movement speed comparisons with and without the ball between the 6-7 power forward build that everyone has and a typical 6-3 guard after patch 4. I'm not saying that patch changed it, what I mean is whatever the result of these tests is, that's how it is now. I made an exact video about this one months ago, the one on your screen now, so we will cross compare the results, because I received some comments lately that apparently they feel that their build gone slower, so we'll find out. Now let's get into it. So we'll be using the same two players we used before, with those stat line. We'll do movement with the ball first, and as you can see here, it's the same. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Now, my question to you is, do you agree with this? Do you agree that a 6'7", 210 pounds with all those stat line in there will be faster than a 6'3", 170 pounds with all those stat line? For me, I don't really agree with this one. I mean, even you put the same stats with those two players in there, I still believe that a lighter and a smaller player will be faster with the ball, especially if you start at rest. Keep in mind that lots of aspects of the game are coming into play here, like how quick first step works, like how the acceleration and speed with ball were utilized, so I don't really agree with this. I know some of you might say, oh toots, players with longer strides cover a lot of ground, but you gotta consider as well, shorter strides will move faster, right? So it could be either way, trust me, it's not that simple, like there are lots of things going on in there. It's not just stride movement frequency and length. But let me know in the comment section later what do you think. And there's a lot more to talk about in this video, so just comment later. So now you might ask, what is the main reason? The game favors the longer player. So to see the difference between a 5-4 and a 7-3 player, here it is. Which I don't really agree, I still believe that most guys around 6-3 will be faster with the ball compared to most 7 feet guys. I know that there might be a case that Giannis will be faster than Trey Young, but that's Giannis. I mean, he's a freak of nature, and we're talking about in general here. I'll show you this one. So okay, let's say 2K believe that longer stride is much faster, but why in moving without the ball, the smaller is much faster? So it's clear, 2K messed it up. To be honest, if they really want to consider stride length like that, it should be the other way around. Like smaller players should be faster with the ball, and taller players should be faster without the ball if they really want to follow their principle, <laughs> so they just messed it up. And here's the movement without the ball difference between the two builds. And it's clear that the smaller player is much faster. So let me know in the comment section what do you think. Do you agree with all of these or not? So in summary, nothing has changed from December to after patch 4. 6-7 power forward builds are still much faster with the ball, and smaller builds will be much faster without the ball. So if you ever feel that your 6-7 build got slower compared to others, with all due respect to your observation, it could be just the overall speed of the game was changed, or it's just an illusion. Nothing has changed in terms of the speed comparisons between builds. So that's all for the video, if you like it, please smash that like button, and don't forget to drop by the channel for some other videos, and as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.